Hi, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Wanted to make a quick uh, video, uh, basically as a warning to fellow uh, pilots and airplane owners that might have a Tempest spin on oil filled adapter. I was unaware of the airworthy directives that have been put out by the FAA regarding the failure of gaskets on these Tempest spin on oil filled adapters. And as you'll soon see on this flight, we experienced it firsthand. We started off as a routine maintenance flight. We'd been performing, having some issues with some RPMs, but immediately as we took off, um, we all of a sudden started seeing yellow and red lines on our CHT temperatures, along with extremely high oil, uh, uh, oil temperatures. So at that point, we were about three to 400 feet off the ground, uh, made the immediate decision to start turning back to the airport. And in fact, even over the Unicom declared that we uh, we were having engine issues and would be making an emergency landing. Didn't declare Mayday, but it was very close to one. Uh, turned back to the airport here. We've got the airport in sight. We're about 600 feet above the ground. You know, expecting the engine to quit at any time here. And I apologize for the poor clarity of the video. We weren't really planning on shooting this. This was just my uh, A&P sitting in the right seat here looking uh, and he wanted to video the monitors just to make sure so uh, as I said we made an immediate turn back and at this point we had the field in sight the wind was too really too windy to, to do a downwind landing so we went ahead and did an abbreviated basically base final uh, came in extremely high and, and as this point you can see we have red lines on CHTs um, and oil pressure has dropped to under 30 uh, so we are now really expecting this engine to quit at any time um, made the turn from here to base to final knowing that now we at least could if the engine did quit we could basically glide in uh, with the power off 180 uh, it was the first time I did a power off 180 in this plane, but I didn't turn the power off. I wanted this engine. If this engine was going to go, it was going to, it was going to be at least uh, spinning so it wouldn't spin no more. Um, at this point, we're coming in uh, extremely fast. Uh, I wanted to carry the momentum over the field. Um, as you can see, the uh, engine uh, temperatures are just pegged, and the oil pressure now is just continuing to bleed off. Uh, over the field, landed, went ahead and just uh, decided we were going to carry the oil, carry it as much at this point. At this point, I thought the engine was just toast. Um, made the runway here, we landed, and then we basically coasted in. Um, really frightening experience, and it wasn't until we got out of the plane that we realized exactly what had happened. It was really too shaken at that point. I should have taken some pictures of the uh, giant puddle of oil underneath the, uh, the plane, but at the end, I had uh, AI create, you know, what the picture was. It was basically a big puddle of oil under the plane. Uh, smoke was, uh, was, the oil was dripping uh, onto the, uh, the exhaust we had the uh, fire extinguisher ready to go but uh, scary situation so wanted to just uh end this video and sort of explain what happened um as i said we had the tempest spin oil adapter uh gasket failed and we did have uh had complied with the ad's uh, but it still failed so since this time we have gone with the uh back to a crush uh, copper crush uh, we've safety wired it on I now mark the uh, there's a mark on the uh, oil filled adapter to make sure um, that the oil filled adapter has not changed as part of my pre-flight exam every time now uh, eventually we will probably go to a a, a wolf uh, brand uh, oil filled adapter uh, and uh, just eliminate or go back to the oil screen. Uh, but right now it's just something that I keep a, a very close eye on at every flight. Um, 
Additionally, uh, you know, this was a part of a, as I said, a maintenance flight. It happened at the end of the maintenance flight. Uh, that's why you see all of the other uh, lines there. We've been flying for about 30 minutes and decided to take it up just one more time just to see what happened. And it was that one more time that just for some reason the oil field uh, filter gasket at that point gave away. Um, but glad to say, you know, we were able to troubleshoot this thing. Uh, the engine wasn't toast. We did bore scope the engine afterwards, checked uh, the, uh, you know, cut loose or cut open the oil field adapter to make sure that there weren't any metal shavings and continue to monitor it. Uh, and knock on wood, uh, IO 470 still running very well. So uh, happy flying. Uh, hope the that uh, you'll uh, heed my warning if you have one of these spin on oil filter adapters and uh, basically check it, uh, make sure your ADs are complied with, make sure that you either have the, uh, the crushed copper filters uh, or crushed copper gaskets on or the uh, synthetic uh, one that Tempest now supplies. Uh, it'll give you a little bit of peace of mind uh, or better yet, just go back to your oil screen or go with the Wolf brand uh, adapter. So happy flying.